What is it, Kim? Oh, <laughs> I was just looking at the travel section in the paper. Gee, I'd sure like to go to some of those exciting places like Alaska or Paris or yeah. Timbuktu. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about Timbuktu, but uh, how about going to see a movie? Hey, that's a great idea. I wonder what's showing. Oh, let me look in the movie page here. Here is movie section. Oh, say, there's a movie about travel oh. playing right now. <laughs> together and talked about it till somebody said how about a train oh yes i think you've got it little train little train it didn't cost much to build or run where have you gone where have you gone little train little train every day for 70 years the train ran twice a day 
Come rain or shine or snow and ice, the little train kept right on running. The trees were cut and carried to the sawmill down the track, and the corn and milk were canned and shipped down to the junction, where great big trains took everything to the cities near and far and brought back clothes and tools for the lumbermen and the farmers. started wanting to ride in the cars instead of the train. And trucks carried all the lumber because they could go anywhere and didn't have to stay on the tracks. Well, they just left me lying there in the field and forgot about me. But then a very kind man saw me and he must have liked me because he brought me down to his berry farm on Cape Cod. Oh, it was real pretty down there by the ocean. He painted me up and built some tracks and shoveled me full of coal and I huffed and I puffed and I'm rolling again even though I'm over 80 years old. and not a station in sight. I wonder what's up now. I'm hungry. Me too, starving. The Browns' trip to the seaside hadn't got off to a very good start. Having risen early, they found themselves in a train which seemed more intent on stopping than actually going anywhere. Paddington, in particular, was feeling most upset. In fact, all in all, what with the delays and the restaurant car being full up with impatient travelers, he was glad he kept a marmalade sandwich under his hat in case of an emergency. It was definitely one of the worst emergencies he could remember. Would you like a nibble, Mr. Brown? He asked. I made it in bed last night. Uh, no, thank you, Paddington. I'll wait till we get there. Perhaps I'll go and watch the people in the restaurant, said Paddington. It'll help to pass the time. Be careful. Don't get in the way. You don't want soup all down your duffel coat. But her words were lost as the train got underway at last. In any case, Paddington had his mind on other things. Mr. Brown had promised them lunch on the train, and he'd been looking forward to it as much as the train ride. He'd never eaten on a train before, and the thought of having the two together had been beyond his wildest dreams. As he drew level with the kitchen, Paddington suddenly paused. It was like peering into a different world. A world of clanking pots and sizzling pans and people hard at work as the train rocked on its way. Even as he watched, a waiter came dashing in from the restaurant and deposited a pile of dirty plates right in front of him. It was as he was removing some gravy from his eye that Paddington suddenly overheard a snatch of conversation from the kitchen. Don't take any more orders for the fish. It's off. I'm not surprised. It's one of them days. Everybody's been asking for it. Some days it's all meat, other days it's fish. Good job I stepped on it. Otherwise, some of them would have been unlucky. Paddington felt pleased he hadn't been eating in the dining car after all. He was a bear with a strong sense of right and wrong. And after directing a very hard stare indeed towards the kitchen, he decided to do something about the matter without further ado. Excuse me, he announced. I shouldn't eat that fish if I were you. It's off. Off? Doesn't smell too bad to me. At least, 
What do you think, Muriel? I heard the chef tell one of the waiters. They've run out of fish, so he had to step on it. The chef's stepped on it? I expect he wanted to make it go further, said Patty. Disgusting, called a man at another table. Couldn't help overhearing what you said, Bear. And I must congratulate you. Smart bit of work. That's all right, said Paddington doubtfully. It's more than all right. We might have been poisoned. Chef actually jumped up and down on it, so I hear. Added a third man. Ground it in with his heels. I'm going, said his companion. And I shan't leave a tip. I shall give it to that bear. I think he deserves it. It's a pity there aren't more about like him. The rest of what the lady had been going to say was lost in a roar of general agreement. A tinkle of coins as everyone rose to their feet. Paddington gazed in astonishment. He'd never seen a restaurant empty so quickly. He hesitated for a moment as he peered at all the money on the table, then decided to be on the safe side and leave it for the waiter. One way and another, there wasn't a moment to be lost. Paddington wasn't quite sure what had happened. But as he went past the kitchen, he noticed a very interesting smell of roast beef. And he was anxious to tell the Browns the good news. Luncheon, he announced in his best waiter's manner, is about to be served. But if I were you, I'd step on it. Otherwise, the chef might get there first. <laughs> Okay, Midas, now, okay. you may take, um, oh, three giant bouncy steps. Okay, may I? Yes, you may. Okay, here I go. One giant bouncy step. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. Take another one. Two giant bouncy steps. Come on, faster, faster. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All day. Three giant bouncy steps. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What? What? Now, Minus, you may take, uh, oh, let me think, let me think, uh, what? What? Come on. three backward wiggly steps. Three backward on, wiggly on, steps? Come on, come what are backward on. wiggly steps? What are backward wiggly steps? Mm -hmm. Everybody knows what backward wiggly steps are. Oh, oh, you I don't wiggle know. your whole body backwards. Backwards. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. One backward wiggly step. Wait, wait, wait a what? minute. What? You forgot to say may I. Oh. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Um, may I? Um Come on, come on, okay. come on. Yes, you may. Okay. Here I go. Go on, go on, go on, go on. One backward wiggly step. Good, 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 good. Do another one. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Two backward wiggly steps. Good, good, good. One more, one more. <laughs> uh, and three backward wiggly steps. Wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Back oh, down the hatches. Oh, Shiver oh, me tin, oh, Louis. Oh, oh, oh. Say, step good. Good. lightly, fellows. Yeah, good, 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 what, good, good, good. what are you what are you boys doing? Oh, we're playing a game. Yeah, yeah, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. It's called May I? Mm -hmm. May I? Yeah. Say, yeah. Can, can I play with you so that I can teach it to the other snails at the once a year snail party? Sure, yeah, Silas. Yeah, yeah. And you can even be it. Wow, thanks a lot. Yeah. Um, now what do I do? Well, you stay right there. Oh, already and I like me and this minus game. will go all the way over here. Yeah. All the way yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you tell us what kind of steps to take, and we have to say, may I? Uh -huh. What kind of steps to take? Yeah. What, what, what do you mean? Oh, well, you could tell us to take a, a bouncy step. A bouncy step? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, um, or a wiggly step. Uh -huh. <laughs> or... Or you can make up a, a step all your own. Yeah. Make up a step of my own? Mm -hmm. Now you're talking. Okay, let's see now. Plus, minus, mm -hmm. are you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you, you may take... Mm, ah, I love this game. One hundred <gasps> snail steps. What's a snail step? A snail step? A snail step is the tiniest. Teeniest, weeniest, smallest step in the whole wide world, oh, don't you know? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do a snail step. Okay. <clears throat> One snail step. Hold everything. Oh, what do we do? Oh, oh. You didn't say. Oh, may I? Say, may I? You forgot. Oh, oh okay. this game is a lot of laughs. Okay. May I? Well. I don't see why not. Okay, here, here we, we go. go. One snail step. 
No, 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 no. You're moving too fast for snail steps. Okay, let's again. Okay, here we go. One snail step. No, 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 no. Those still aren't snail steps. Small steps. I've ever taken them on. I think my feet are too big to take any smaller steps. No, no, that was very small. Now those are snail steps. Plus. I wasn't moving at all. Neither was I. It's going to take us forever to do a hundred snail steps. Don't say that again. Uh, Glorioski, uh, I can't wait to teach this game to my snail friends. Why, we can play one game of snail steps for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And weeks. We're going to dinner. Keep going, keep going. And we. This is. Game I've ever played, and weeks it not so fast. Plus, just say goodbye.